नमो विष्णुपादा कृष्ण प्रेष्टा भूतले श्रीमते भक्तिवेदातस्वामीनामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेषा शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य देशकारिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैतगाधरा श्रीवासादी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सो एज लॉन्ग एज वी आर इन दिस वर्ल्ड इन दिस मेटीरियल वर्ल्ड वी कॉन्ट एक्सपेक्ट that there should not be any problems generally our mind is that we want no problems there should not be any problems in life we look for three things one is shashvata we want everything permanently that's why we want permanent house own house own car mm. everything own permanency we look for mm. long time not temporary permanent that's one thing we look for another thing we look for is for happiness continuously we look for happiness we search we have certain perceptions of happiness some people think watching movie is happiness that's why they keep watching movies some people think drinking alcohol is happiness for some people cricket is happiness for some people you know uh, killing others is happiness but everybody is doing for happiness we continuously look for happiness we continuously look for permanency in this world but unfortunate thing is this world is not permanent this world is not a place of happiness so difficulties will come problems will come in life the example is in the forest if you are in a deep jungle in the forest imagine yourself in the forest barefoot not having the footwear also forest to the all thorns and sharp edges any reptiles anything can happen isn't it in the forest now i become devotee of krishna i wish my forest should be like soft lawn there should not be any stone there should not be any thorn no no forest means there will be we are in a forest so there will be always troubles problems if you are a devotee of krishna krishna will do one favor to you what is that he will offer you a footwear he will offer you a shoes if you are not so great devotee it may be simple footwear sometimes thorn can pierce and come <laughs> yes to you or sometimes some reptiles can bite you still if you become staunch devotee will give you shoes nothing can harm you forest will be forest only what krishna gives is protection to you avashya rakshite krishna vishwasa iti padam now our desire is to become that devotee of krishna protected by the lord for what purpose not for staying in the forest to come out of forest that is our desire bhagavatam is the knowledge we also look for knowledge in this world bhagavatam is the knowledge which shows 
okay you are in the forest go in this direction if you keep on walking in this direction you will reach a village with this way so bhagavatam is showing the light of knowledge showing us the direction go like this for one who has lost himself in the forest little bit we understand about it today okay so let us start with it. our prayers to shrimad bhagavatam today we are starting the new chapter the fifth chapter of the first canto <clears throat> please repeat after me om namo bhagavate vasudevaya om namo bhagavate vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Narayanam Namaskritya Naram Chaiva Narottamam Devim Saraswati Vyasam Tato Jaya Mudiraye नष्टप्रायेशु अभद्रेशु नित्यं भागवत सेवया भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्ते भवति नैष्टिकी सो इन दैट फॉरेस्ट we lost ourselves in the forest in that forest we received knowledge the books which are of knowledge which is given by veda vyasa all the vedas upanishads puranas vedanta sutras samhitas and all this what veda vyasa has written mahabharata this knowledge does not emphasize that you please leave quickly from the forest go back to safe place it does not say that it says here and there but does not give stress to that rather it gives idea how can you cut a tree and make one home for you in the forest how can you use a certain medicinal plant if you fall sick where can you find sweet palatable fruits in the forest this all the subject matter of vedas yami mam pushpitam vacham in the bhagavad gita krishna says flowery language of vedas vedas are telling giving more knowledge to stay in the forest gives knowledge how can you utilize which tree which is good food which is medicine how to construct a house there how to get a source of water there how can you enjoy in the forest how can you stay in the forest that knowledge also required to stay in the forest that's why you cannot say that is not a knowledge that is also a knowledge but they are not emphasizing you should leave the forest and go go to a safe place go to place where humans are staying human habitats go there and stay with other human beings safely in a cooperation in a society you can live more peacefully and happily not in the forest any time the uh, snake can come and bite you kala sarpa patari the kala is compared to sarpa the time any time snake can bite you so don't stay in the forest that is the message of bhagavatam so bhagavatam is a revolutionary vedic literature it is not like other literature it rather says if you have a good house you destroy that house as long as a good house you never think of going out of forest <laughs> it's a trouble from trouble some face place why do you want to stay so that is why after compiling all the vedic literatures which gives the general knowledge 
to stay in the forest happily, Vedavyasa is not happy. So now, what happened? Last class we discussed. Narada Muni came. When he was contemplating, when he was sorry that, no, I am not happy and satisfied, so Narada Muni came. Having received Narada Muni, what happened in Vyasa Deva's Ashrama, Madhurika Ashrama, is explained from this chapter. So this chapter is named as the Narada's instructions on Srimad Bhagavatam for Vyasa Deva. So first section, verse number 1 to 4, Narada inquires about Veda Vyasa's despondency. Despondency means dissatisfaction, unhappiness. Why is he unhappy? He should have been happy. Why is he unhappy? So let us read these verses. Please repeat after me. Suta Vacha Suta Vacha Atatam Sukamasi Na Atatam Sukamasi Na Upasi Nambu Hachravaha Upasi Nambu Hachravaha Devarshi Hi Praha Viprarshin Devarshi Hi Praha Viprarshin Veena Pani Hi Swayam Iva Veena Pani Hi Swayam Iva Veena Pani Hi Swayam Iva Sutta Goswami said. Sutta Goswami is telling this to whom? To Rishis of Naimisharanya, headed by Shavnakarsha. Thus the sage among the gods, Narada, Devarshi, is called Devarshi Narada, comfortably seated and apparently smiling, address the Rishi amongst the Brahmanas. Brahmarshi. Vyasadeva is the sage among all the great Brahmanas, Veda Vyasa. And how did he address? With a slight mm. smiling face. When the children come with a petty problem, when some children fight, no, no, there were four chocolates, now only three are there, and they start fighting, you are taken and you are taken. No, I have not taken, you are taken. Then they come to you, both of them. They are very serious, they are crying. Though you understand uh, their pain and you are sympathetic, you are also smiling. <laughs> That's a pretty problem. You are crying. So, apparently smiling, address the Rishi among the Brahmanas. So, Narada is speaking. Prabhupada writes here, Narada was smiling because he well knew the great sage Vedavyasa and the cause of his disappointment. So as he will certainly explain gradually, Veda Vyasa's disappointment was due to inefficiency in presenting the science of devotional service. So Narada knew the defect and it was confirmed by position of Vyasa. Now Narada speaks. Narada Uvacha Narada Uvacha Parasharya Mahabhaga Parashariya Mahabhaga Bhavataha Kachidatmana Bhavataha Kachidatmana Paritushyati Sharira Paritushyati Sharira Atma Manasa Evava Narada said, addressing Vyasadeva, the son of Parashara, Narada inquired, 
Parashaya. Are you satisfied by identifying with the body or the mind as the objects of self-realization? She is asking a very strong question. Self-realization means realizing the Atma. You are, I am not this body. I am Atma. But all your literatures, whatever you have compiled, Rig Veda, Samaveda, Yajurveda, whatever you compiled, is more or less more gives importance for body and mind. So are you identify, are you satisfied by identifying with the body or mind eh, as objects of self-realization? That is only the object, that is called self-realization. Are you satisfied by this? First question. So basically he is hinting that he has not done the very important work as I given the analogy. So he has given more importance for constructing home in the forest. He has not relieved the person who lost the way in the forest to get out of the forest. That is the real relief, is it not? If you lost the way in the forest, what is the real relief for you? Somebody should guide you how to go out of the forest and reach your home. Real home, where your, 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 your family members and well-wishers are waiting for you. Or somebody should guide you. No, no, don't worry. You see your uh, enjoyable fruits are there. Here you can build a home. Here you can get, uh, even if you are fall sick, here are the medicinal plants. And if you, if you wait for some more time, in the summer you get sweet mangoes. You stay in the forest. That's what you have done. Veda Vyasa, you have, you have, are you satisfied by saying that this is the goal of life? Satisfying the body and mind? Jijnasitam tu sampannam Jijnasitam tu sampannam Apite mahabradhutam Apite Mahadadhutam Kritavan Bharatam Yaswam Kritavan Bharatam Yaswam Sarvartha Paribhrimitam Sarvartha Paribhrimitam Your inquiries were full and your studies were also well fulfilled. There is no doubt that you have prepared a great and wonderful work, the Mahabharata, which is full of all kinds of Vedic sequences elaborately explained. So you have done good work of compiling Mahabharata, which has all the good instructions and it gives the stories of Mahabharata are such a way it delivers the message of all the Vedic literatures. As I explained to you in earlier classes, all the Puranas, the stories of Deva Devatas, nothing but conveying the same message of the Vedas. Veda says, I am not this body, I am soul, I am Atma. Now to convey that, if I just tell somebody, unintelligent person will not give importance. But if I tell him, you know in my previous life I was your father. What? So he become interested. How is that possible? Then I say, no, 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 I am not this body. Then he may interested and try to understand what is that. Is it not? So, Puranas, are the literatures which give the same message of the Vedas by collecting different histories of the universe which happened among the Devatas and human beings and the Rakshasas, the lot of incidences and historical things happened, collected the information of that and then proved what is Veda is saying is this is what has so that is why Vedas and Puranas are, you cannot say this is great and this is less and that is more. Both are equally same literatures. So Mahabharata, 
which is full of all kinds of Vedic sequences, elaborate Vedas. Mm -hmm. It is not just a story. Sometimes people are very satisfied by reading Mahabharata. They said, yeah, yeah, I read all Mahabharata, Ramayana, everything. Very proud of it. But after reading Mahabharata and Ramayana, have you become devotee of Rama and Krishna? If you not become devotee of Rama and Krishna, then your, your reading is not perfect. Something you've got to know. But the essence of Mahabharata and Ramayana, you have not understood. So, this, is, this can happen. That is why Vedavyasa is not happy. Vedavyasa is sufficiently explained. Goal of life is to achieve bhakti for Krishna. Then this confusion would have not arisen. If somebody says, I read Mahabhagavatam thoroughly, he, has, he cannot escape. He has, to accept, he has to understand bhakti is to Krishna to be performed. Whether he performs or not, at least he has to accept, yes, this is the truth. So, he appreciated Narada Muni for the Vyasadeva's work, Mahabharata. Prabhupada also writes, as a result of which the Mahabharata is compiled with full explanation of the Vedas. <coughs> Jijnasitam adhitam cha Jijnasitam adhitam cha Brahma yattat sanatanam Brahma yattat sanatanam Tatapi shocha syatmanam Tathapi shocha syatmanam Akrutartha iva prabho Akrutartha iva prabho Very respectfully Narada Muni is saying You have fully delineated the subject of impersonal Brahman You say God is there You said out of this forest, there is one town also, village also. You said, you have not, not told, impersonal Brahman. As well as the knowledge of derived therefrom. Why should you despondent in spite of all this? Thinking that you are undone, you are not completed, my dear Prabhu, Prabhu, so kind is like that. My dear Vyasadeva, why are you so feeling that you are not completed? You have completed everything. You have given all this knowledge. Why are you feeling like that? So like this, Narada Muni is inquiring from Veda Vyasa. That is the first section. Okay. Now let us go to the second section. Now Vyasa Deva requests Narada to find this deficiency. Now tell me what is the deficiency? You are a spiritual master. You are asking me. Now you tell me what is my problem. So that is what now. Vyasa Deva is going to ask. Vyasa Uvacha Asti Eva Me Sarvam Idam Tvayoktam Asti Eva Me Sarvam Idam Tvayoktam Tathapi Natma Paritushyate me Tathapi Natma Paritushyate me Tadmulam Avyaktam Aghata Bodham Tadmulam Avyaktam Aghata Bodham Pruchamahe Swatma Bhavatma Bhutam Pruchamahe Swatma Bhavatma Bhutam Vyasa Vacha 
for you are a man of unlimited knowledge due to your being the offspring of one brahma who is self born without mundane father and mother you are that person who is born directly from brahma you are the full knowledge please let me know what is the reason for my dissatisfaction actually this is how we must approach the spiritual master when we approach prabhupa the spiritual master we should not go with the demand generally our mind thinks like this i have a problem probably if i have this one it may be money it may be one person in your life or it may be something in your life or it may be a promotion or it may be a position it may be some recognition if i get this i must be happy that's what our mind thinks but when we go to god and guru we should not ask like this we should only identify yes i am unhappy that is very easy we come to know yes i am unhappy i am not very satisfied we should go and ask guru that i do not know i am unhappy whatever is given to me after some time again i am become unhappy now you only tell me what should i do when a person thinks like that he is suitable to become disciple of guru when we go with the material desire though guru and krishna may bless us but they may not give us the spiritual knowledge the spiritual knowledge and spiritual realization begin when we surrender by asking i do not know what i want that is the ajnana which i am in i myself don't know what is good for me you see what a irony of our life i do not know what is good for me i think this is good for me this is good for me this is good for me all that i tried till till now in my life were never gave fruit it always gave at the end i was dissatisfied this realization we have to get when we get this realization we go and say my dear lord you please tell me what should i do you know what is the reason for my dissatisfaction and happiness that means i am ready to receive now i become ready to receive like arjuna did in bhagavad gita isn't it karpanya doshopahata swabhavah pruchami dvam dharma sammuda cheta now i am fully miserable and i am not able to see what is the goal of my life i am not understanding shishyaste ham shadi mam tvam prapanna i become your disciple now you tell me what should i do now he is ready to do what krishna is that is the time we become ready for progress in spiritual life this is the process of going to spiritual master and asking that i do not know why i am unhappy you tell me what should i do this process is called taking initiation all other things are rituals now guru will tell i will tell you what you should do he will say chant hare krishna do this 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 
then we start doing that it's a commitment that is why when we take diksha initiation we take commitment every day i chant 16 rounds of hari krishna mantra i will not eat meat i will not uh, do gambling i will not take intoxication you know, i will not do illicit sex like this i take commitment because i have gone to guru asking that why i am unhappy now guru in return gave me some instructions now i reiterate those instructions from the guru yes i am ready to follow all these things now guru says now yes now you are ready candidate for initiation now you can start your spiritual life so spiritual life begins when a person approaches guru like this in this mood i therefore question you about the root cause of my dissatisfaction for you are the man of unlimited knowledge so this is how veda vyasa is approaching narada muni in the next verse <coughs> vesudeva request for the savaibhava <coughs> bhavan savaibhavan veda samastaguhyam savai bhavan veda samastaguhyam upasitaha yat purushaha puranaha upasito yat purusha puranaha paravareshu manasai manasaiva vishwam paravareshu manasaiva vishwam srujati avati atti gunaihi asangaha srujatyavatyatti gunairasangaha srujatyavatyatti gunairasangaha savai bhavan veda samasta guhyam savai bhavan veda samasta guhyam upasito yat purusha puranah upasito yat purusha puranah paravareshu manasai vishwam paravareshu manasai vishwam ti gunaira sangaha prajatya vatyati gunaira sangaha my lord everything that is mysterious is known to you because you worship the creator and destroyer of the material world and the maintainer of the spiritual world and the original personality of god who is transcendental to the three modes of material nature what is the qualification of guru you can see the qualification of guru here the qualification of guru is he is the devotee worshipper of shrishti sthiti laya karta who is the shrishti sthiti laya karta he is the supreme personality of god shri vishnu or krishna so he is saying because you worship you are worshiping lord creator and destroyer of material world and maintainer of the spiritual world the original personality of god who is beyond the three modes of material nature he is not under this material world he is beyond this world you are worshiping him since you are worshiping him i am asking you you know the purpose of life so this is important aspect while choosing the spiritual master in our life the spiritual master has to be a devotee of the lord who is the worshipper of the lord he knows so since you are done you are doing that i am asking you what should i do so like this vyasa deva is requesting narada to find his deficiency now narada describes 
the importance of glorifying Lord Krishna. Now come to the subject matter. Now what is to be done? Narada will tell. Let us see what is Narada's instruction. Having proper scene is set now. Isn't it? See how beautifully Bhagavatam is bringing out. Very wonderfully it is coming out. First sages in Naimisharanya are assembling and asking questions. Very general questions because they were worried that Kali Yuga, is come, Kali Yuga has come, what will happen to people? What is good for people? They are asking all these kind of questions. Then Sutta Goswami is answering those questions. Summary of all the questions, the answer to all the questions is boiling down to Srimad Bhagavatam. One has to hear the glories of the Lord. That is coming there, answer is coming to there. As the Rishis in Naimisharanya understand that now they should hear Bhagavatam. Bhagavatam is everything. They become very, very inquisitive about how this great literature, Grantharaja, has come. They become very inquisitive. They ask, how did Bhagavatam come? Why did Vyasadeva write Bhagavatam? The last chapter we understood. Then they also asked a question. Why did Parikshit Maharaj was cast? Then they also ask question, can you please tell more about Shukadeva Goswami? Because all about Bhagavatam it is. Bhagavatam is spoken by Shuka to Parikshit. And it is about Bhagavatam. They ask this question. Now answer to first question, that why Veda Vyasa wrote Bhagavatam? Sutta Goswami starts answering. Then he says, Veda Vyasa wrote all the literatures and he was dissatisfied. When he was dissatisfied, Narada Rishi comes there. So Narada Rishi, as he comes, he starts asking, what happened to you? Why are you unhappy? Then Veda Vyasa is saying, you are my dear Lord, you know everything, you tell me why I am unhappy. Now, so Narada is describing why he is unhappy. How can all our miseries in this world can be mitigated. By this one process, all the miseries can be mitigated. Actually, Bhagavatam helps us not to solve the material problem. Bhagavatam helps us to avoid the material problem. There is a difference between solving the problem and avoiding the problem. Problem only won't come in first place as soon as I understand that I am nothing to do in this world. So simple. It makes our whole problem very simple. No, 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 he told me and she told me like this and he told me like this. That happened, this happened. Again, Bhagavatam says our material world. So only one simple solution is there. Somebody told, whenever I go to Prabhuji, he says, material world is unhappy. Whenever I ask some solution, he will tell, chant Hare Krishna. Actually, life is that simple only. We complicate. Life is very simple. We want very complicated answer. When, we, when it is done in very complicated manner, then people appreciate. Spiritual process should be very tough. We should tell you, morning you should take bath in cold water. Then you stand on one leg, raise your hand. Give one very tough mantra, difficult to pronounce. Chant this like this. First time you are chanting, you should chant like this. Second time, head should be sound, legs should be up, like that you should chant. Oh, this process is very powerful. We tell you, you can sit and around, say, take nice food and chant. Hey, this is not powerful. A very tough process is needed. That's when I go to sometimes a college to conduct a program. I tell them, now all of you sit erect. All of you sit erect. And have a deep breath. Now it's very serious. So then I make them chant. It's a very nice process. So they want something very tough, difficult, complicated, not so easy. But Kali Yuga, people are lazy. People are uh, not very intelligent. Hence God has given simple process. Like when you go to an apartment, there's a lift also, there are stairs also. 
Lift is a quick process. You can quickly switch, uh, take, uh, uh, press a button and you can reach 20th floor. No, 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 I want experience. You can climb on the stairs also. You can reach there. But takes, you only have to struggle. So, the bhakti, the devotional process, Krishna consciousness, is the simple process to achieve the same goal of life, that is developing devotion to Krishna. So, now simple, Narada is coming to the crux of the matter. That is, Narada describes the importance of glorifying Krishna. <coughs> that is the third section. Pam Paryatan Arkaiva Trilokim Pam Paryatan Arkaiva Trilokim Antascharo Vayuhu Ivat Masakshi Antas Charo Vayu Rivat Masakshi Paravare Brahmani Dharmato Vratehi Paravare Brahmani Dharmato Vratehi Snatasya Me Yunam Alam Vichakshwa Snatasya me Yunam Alam Vichakshwa Pampar Yatanarka Ivatri Loki Pampar Yatanarka Ivatri Loki Antas Charo Vayuri Vatma Sakshi Antas Charo Vayuri Vatma Sakshi Paravari Brahmani Dharma Tobratai Paravari Brahmani Dharma Tobratai Natasya me nyuna malam vichakshwa Natasya me nyuna malam vichakshwa Like the sun, your goodness can travel everywhere in the three worlds. Like the air, you can penetrate the eternal region of everywhere. As such, you are as good as all pervasive super soul. Please, therefore, find out the deficiency in me despite my being absorbed in transcendental disciplinary regulations and vows. So now you please tell me what to be done. Now Narada says, Shri Narada Uvacha Bhavata Nudita Prayam Bhavata Nudita Prayam Yasho Bhagavato Malam Yasho Bhagavato Malam Yenaiva Sauna Tushyat Tushyeta Yenaiva Sauna Vasauna Tushyeta Manyeta Darshanam Kilam Manyeta Darshanam Kilam Shri Narada said, You have not actually broadcast the sublime and slotless glories of the personality of God. That philosophy which does not satisfy the transcendental senses of the Lord is considered worthless. So Narada is directly saying, You are not explained sufficiently, Yasho Bhagavato Amalam. Amalam means spotless. Yasho, Yashaha, the glory of Bhagavataha. 
Yasho Bhagavato Amalam. You are not glorified. You are not explain the glory of Bhagavataha, Lord, who is spotless. That philosophy which does not satisfy the transcendental senses of the Lord is considered worthless. If all the literatures, if it is not giving satisfaction for the Lord, that literature is worthless. It's no value. Like Prabhupada says, all our material abilities, wealth, everything is like a zero. I can say I am B-Tech engineer, one zero I get. I am M-Tech, one more zero I get. I am PhD, one more zero I get. No, I went to the foreign university and did one more course, one more zero I get. Any value? Because four zeros are greater than one zero, is anything like that. All near zero, unless you put one in this place. As soon as you put one, every zero has value. It gets multiplied by ten times. That much zero gets value. So all our material abilities, material wealth, material position, Everything is valuable when there is Krishna in our life. When that is utilized in Krishna service. So, similarly, there may be great scholarly literature, wonderful wordings, very nicely composed, but if it does not glorify Yasho Bhagavato Amanam, then that literature is worthless. It does not have any value. You can throw that. So that is a clear understanding which Narada Muni gives. Generally people write a lot of books, isn't it? If you go to a, a literature shop, bookshop, bookstores, these days online also. So many books are released every year, every day. And if that does not glorify the Lord, how much time that person has wasted how much money people waste in printing that, distributing that? How many people waste their time by reading that? Because it does not take us anywhere. So, now further Narada Muni explains some more important things. <clears throat> Yatha dharma dayaschartha Yatha dharma dayaschartha Muni varya nukirtita Muni varya nukirtita Nathata vasudevasya Nathata vasudevasya Mahi Mahi Anuvarnitaha Mahi Mahi Anuvarnitaha Although great, although great sage, you have very broadly described the four principles beginning with religious performances. You have not described the glories of the Supreme Personality of Personality Vasudeva. Very nicely explained dharma, artha, kama, moksha. But you are not explained about Lord, Supreme Personality of God. Hence they may not be desirable. They are not getting the desire to go back to Krishna. They want to settle in this world. Because you are not sufficiently explained to them. Rather they will take the Vedas to improve their material conditions of life. Which will ultimately give them misery. So you have done great disservice in one sense, unless you compile the literature which is describing about Vasudeva. <coughs> this I also printed in the handout. Nayadvachaha Chitrapadam Hareriyasho Nayadvachas chitra padam hare riyasho. Nayadvachas chitra padam hare riyasho. 
ಮಯತ್ರಹಂಸಿರಮಂತಿ ಉಶಿಕ್ಷಂಸಿರಮಂತಿ ಉಶಿಕ್ಷಿತ್ರಪದ ಹರೇರ್ಯಶೋ ಜಗತ್ಪವಿತ್ರಂಗಣೀತಕರ್ಹಿಚೇತ್ರಹಂಸಾಮಂತುಶಿಕ್ಷೋರ್ಡ್ಸ್ who alone can set sanctify the atmosphere of the whole universe are considered by saintly persons to be like unto a place of pilgrimage for crows since the all perfect persons are inhabitants of the transcendental abode they do not derive any pleasure there now again i read the translation try to understand what bhagavata those words which do not describe the glories of the lord so you went to a book shop and purchased a book there is not even a sentence glorifying the lord actually lord alone can sanctify the atmosphere of the whole universe so only lord can actually purify the whole universe but there is no glorification of lord in that book are considered by saintly persons how do the sadhus the devotees of the lord consider that as a place of pilgrimage for crows vayasa teertham vayasam teertham means crows go for pilgrimage is it what is the place site of pilgrimage for crows a dirty place pilgrimage means we see that as the destination why do we go to pilgrimage not to eat something and come back we don't go to pilgrimage places just to take bath and come back we should go to these places as our destination that is our actual destination that's our goal of life that's why we go to pilgrimage take inspiration come back and practice krishna consciousness more seriously that's the purpose we supposed to go for pilgrimage now where does the crow goes as a destination of their life they go to the most dirty places wherever the meat pieces are thrown food the waste is thrown where are some dead body is thrown there are some dead body of cows are there uh, or dogs are there crows are very interested to eat once i was seeing a big river some uh, no in a rainy season rivers flow with full water isn't it? one dead buffalo was floating on the water and going like this i was seeing there are some three four crows flying sitting eating flying they are enjoying there is a pilgrimage site for crows dirty places now vayasam teertham pilgrimage site for crows is compared to what these books which otherwise very nice binding is done sold in airport fold in nice books but there is nothing about krishna in that book no use of reading those books. you see how bhagavatam is so strongly that's a bhagavatam is very uh, you know says you destroy your house and go out of the forest it uses very strong words like this okay now on other hand narada muni is saying this okay so other hand narada muni says tat vag visargo janatha ghaviplavo 
ಶ್ಲೋಕಮಬ್ಧವತ್ಯಪಿ ಶೃಣ್ವಂತ ಗಾಯಂತಿ ಗೃಣಂತಿ ಸಾಧವ ಶೃಣ್ವಂತ ಗಾಯಂತಿ ಗೃಣಂತಿ ಸಾಧವ ಶೃಣ್ವಂತಿ ಗಾಯಂತಿ ಗೃಣಂತಿ ಸಾಧವ on other hand that literature which is full of descriptions of the transcendental glories of name fame forms and pastimes etc of unlimited supreme lord is a different creation full of transcendental words directed towards bringing about a revolution in the empires lives of this world's misdirected civilization such transcendental literatures even though imperfectly composed are heard sung and accepted by purified men who are thoroughly honest so on other hand the literatures which are full of faults that may be some faults while compiling some grammatical errors may be there some smelling mistakes may be there some problems but those literatures are better than these literatures are nicely composed but which there is no even a word about the supreme personality of god why because the supreme lord these literatures have the power to create a revolution in the impious lives people are very impious impious means papis they are not punya they are not doing pious activity they are impious and impious lives are the world's misdirected civilization the civilization is misdirected towards selfish ones everybody is thinking goal of life is my happiness when my happiness is done then maybe i may extend my happiness to some more people and what kind of happiness material sense right you know regular schools and colleges what do we study they te- what do they teach us you study nicely you get a job you earn money you make property you lead a life like this okay while leading life and be a good person that song does not teach about the purpose of life so uh, narada muni is saying that literature though it may have errors but it is describing about the lord that should be considered as the perfect literature then further ನೈಷ್ಕರ್ಮ್ಯಂ ಅಪ್ಯಚ್ಯುತ ಭಾವರ್ಜಿತ ನೈಷ್ಕರ್ಮ್ಯಂ ಅಪ್ಯಚ್ಯುತ ಭಾವರ್ಜಿತ ನ ಶೋಭತೆ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಅಲಂ ನಿರಂಜನ ನ ಶೋಭತೆ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಅಲಂ ನಿರಂಜನ ಕುತ ಪುನಃ ಶಶ್ವ 
अभद्रम ईश्वरे कुतपुन शश्वद्रमेश्वरे न चापित कर्म यदि अकारण न चापित कर्म यदप्यकारण निष्कर्म्यमच्युत भाववर्जि न शोभते ज्ञानमल निरंजन कुत पुन शश्वद्रमेश्वरे न चापित कर्म यद्यप्यकारण knowledge of self realization even though free from all material affinity does not look well if devoid of conception of infallible god what then is the use of fruitive activities which are naturally painful from the very beginning and transient by nature if they are not utilized for the devotional service of the lord meaning you see the knowledge of self realization means knowledge that i am not this body i have to realize what is myself if the conception of god krishna if it is not given knowledge of, even though free from all material affinity does not look well in the devoid of conception of it it is not actually helpful for people i'll give an example to make this understand let us go back to our initial uh, discussion you are in a forest yourself lost you also forgot where is your home who are there at your home and you are in the forest now when you are in the forest the knowledge is given to you how to make your life comfortable in the forest as i told you we can build a home for you you can you also train a horse for you to ride you can also grow your food you can also pluck sweet fruits and you can enjoy all the knowledge is given and also it is told you should also go out of the forest to the village knowledge is given but why i should go i feel no forest is nice is it not no no when i tell you you know in that village some people love you a lot your father is waiting for you your mother is waiting for you do you know how much they love for you they are sitting and waiting for you to come back or your husband is waiting for you your wife is waiting for you or your children are waiting for you your loved ones are waiting for you and if you go back they will be very happy you can lead the life with them very happily if i tell this then i tell that you should go out of the forest it becomes meaningful why i should go out now you understand what nalga muni is saying he is saying people who are stuck in this material world in the enjoyment of the illusion of maya i tell them go for self realization you are not this body you should understand this you are you are not this क्यों करना है सब वाई आई शुड ऑल दिस आई एम हैप्पी नो इन दिस वर्ल्ड वट डू आई गेट देन आई टेल देम यू आर नॉट दिस बॉडी योर सोल योर आत्मा एंड यू आर पार्ट ऑफ दैट सुप्रीम लॉर्ड कृष्ण एंड कृष्ण लवस यू सो मच एक्चुअली यू ऑल्सो लव कृष्ण सो मच इच यू हैव फॉगॉटन एंड ही इज वेटिंग फॉर यू ही डज नॉट वॉन्ट यू टू सफर इन दिस वर्ल्ड you should go back to krishna then it becomes meaningful why i should do this now i read this again then you understand knowledge of self realization even though free from all material affinity does not look well if devoid of conception of the god infallible what then is the use of fruitive activities when the self realization does not look attractive what about fruitive activities which is do this and you'll enjoy this 
which are naturally painful from very beginning and transient by nature it is temporary in nature if they are not utilized for devotional service of the lord if the things are not used for lord service what is the use of all this so narada muni is explaining very clearly why it is important to describe about the law know about the law then we then become attracted towards the law you see this is why krishna is coming as avatar to attract us krishna is coming he is taking birth like that and he is asking vasudeva shift me now to gokula and a small boy and he is carried the doors of the, uh, the all the locks are open and the yamuna river is giving the way for carrying krishna we can attract you that lord becomes very attractive for us yamuna maya is trying to touch lord's lotus feet and lord is laughing he is enjoying being carried by vasudeva then lord is doing lot of attractive things in vrindavan stealing butter playing with monkeys playing with peacock going to forest and attracting and enjoying and playing with his friends he wants to attract us otherwise we think this is very nice business so uh, self realization without the knowledge what vedavyasa has done by compiling all the vedas and all the literatures are great literatures nothing to put them down these literatures give the enormous knowledge of the material world they also talk about self realization dharma artha kama moksha all the four purusharthas are there in the vedic literatures but there is no special stress on moksha dharma artha kama moksha you should leave it people think when i am dying i should get moksha that's what they show in the movies also when they die one light goes like this then we write on the um, newspaper we put shraddhanjali swargasta whatever prayers we carry the body in the in the in bangalore city the government has one uh, vehicle to carry dead bodies that is called vaikuntha yatra vahana so people now think that smashana is called vaikuntha because that is very mistake <laughs> that it what is they say when you want to go to vaikuntha they don't know i don't want to go to vaikuntha <laughs> they don't know what is vaikuntha they think vaikuntha is a place when after we die we go vaikuntha samaradhana and that vaikuntha has become very negative people think very sad no vaikuntha is a most jubilant place where there is no anxiety that is your real home so vedavyasa has explained about dharma artha kama moksha but detail of the moksha is not there just like forest you are stuck you can go there is a village it is said but there is no inspiration to go there the inspiration to come you should know about god you should know about the people who love you in the village then you will go there go out of the forest so no bhagavatam is a literature to create interest to know about krishna to create interest to go back to krishna go back to vaikuntha bhagavatam is literature which is creating this and making us understand how much krishna is loving us this is a specific literature which will take us from dharma artha kama moksha and finally to krishna so bhagavatam gives importance so vyasadeva the narada muni is bringing out these points so wonderfully so that we understood understand the things very easily from these subjects now this is verse number we completed up to verse number 12 okay so today we will stop here more we will hear about narada muni's instruction this chapter is about narada muni's instruction in the next class
श्री श्री कृष्ण बलराम की सीताय गौरांग की ग्रंथराज श्रीमद्भागवतम की श्रीलता की थैंक यू वेरी